Do you have lingering issues from an old ankle sprain? Are you confident in your ability to quickly hop back and forth? How's your dynamic balance? Can you perform both of these tests on your injured side just as well as your uninjured side? Check out this video to learn everything you need to know about chronic ankle instability, including exercise progressions with exact sets and reps. I'll also link our brand new program down below. According to Hurdle and Corbett in 2019, chronic ankle instability is a condition characterized by repetitive episodes or perceptions of the ankle giving way, ongoing symptoms such as pain, weakness, or reduced ankle range of motion, diminished self-reported function, and recurrent ankle sprains that persist for more than one year after the initial injury. The initial injury in this instance is referring to a lateral ankle sprain. The ligament usually involved is the anterior talofibular ligament, or ATFL, and sometimes the calcaneofibular ligament, or CFL. Both are located on the outer part of your ankle. Why is this video so important? Because, according to Doherty et al. in 2016, up to 40% of individuals develop chronic ankle instability after a first-time ankle sprain. Fortunately, systematic reviews with meta-analysis by Doherty et al. in 2017 and Bleakley et al. in 2019 found that exercise therapy is helpful for the treatment and prevention of chronic ankle instability. Before diving into the exercises, I want to share my rationale for their selection. The following changes have been associated with chronic ankle instability. Reduced ankle dorsiflexion range of motion during the weight-bearing lunge test, decreased ankle and foot strength and muscle volumes, proximal weakness of the hip and knee, biomechanical alterations during walking, running, landing, and cutting, delayed peroneal reaction time, increased reliance on visual information during single limb stance, and impaired stability and proprioception. Therefore, the exercises, based on the research and my experience as a physical therapist, are intended to target many of the associated changes to improve your function and reduce your risk of injury. The following categories of exercises are purposely placed in the order that you would perform them based on their complexity and difficulty. I'm also going to provide an option A and an option B for many of the exercises so you have some variability in your training. I will lay out a detailed plan in the summary section of this video. Plyometrics. For progression A, begin by hopping in place on both legs for three sets of 30 seconds while keeping your hands on your hips. When you can do that without discomfort, progress to hopping forward and backward. Finish the double limb progression by hopping side to side. You'll then work through the same progression on a single leg. For progression B, jump straight up off two legs and land on two legs. When you can perform three sets of eight repetitions without discomfort, progress to jumping off one leg and landing on two legs for the same parameters. Finally, jump off one leg and land on one leg for three sets of six repetitions. Be sure to stick the landing every time. Other progressions include jumping forward, laterally, and diagonally. Lower extremity strength. I'm going to keep this category pretty simple. Option A is a single leg RDL, and option B is a lateral step down. For the single leg RDL, begin with a handhold assist by using a dowel or wall, then master the movement without any assistance. Finally, hold the dumbbell in the opposite hand of the standing leg. Shoot for three to four sets of six to 12 repetitions. For the lateral step down, start with a small step and progress the height over time. You wanna keep your trunk fairly upright and let your knee travel as far over your toes as possible. Aim for three to four sets of six to 12 repetitions. You do not want to stand on an unstable surface for these exercises. Dynamic balance. Option A involves reaching with your feet and option B involves reaching with your hands. Imagine you're standing in the middle of a clock. If you're standing on your left leg for option A, you're gonna use your right foot to tap 1.30, three o'clock, and 4.30. If you're standing on your right leg, you're gonna use your left foot to tap 10.30, nine o'clock, and 7.30. Do not put any weight through the foot that is tapping the ground. You can start with small reaches and gradually reach further as your stability improves. Perform three sets for 30 to 60 seconds each. Option B is similar, except you're using both hands to reach for 10.30, 12 o'clock, and 1.30. Static balance. 
The single limb stance activities stem from the work of McKeon et al. in 2008. Option A is done with your eyes open, and option B is done with your eyes closed. The first progression requires you to work up to standing on one leg with your arms across your chest for three sets of 60 seconds. These are done barefoot on a hard floor. In order to move on to the next stage, you should be able to complete these exercises without the following errors. Touching down with the opposite limb, excessive trunk motion, removal of arms from across the chest, bracing the non-stance limb against the stance limb. Next, you want to accomplish the same task without errors on a foam pad. If you don't have a foam pad, you can use pillows, towels, or other soft surfaces around your home. Lastly, you'll add a component of self perturbations to the eyes open option by passing a kettlebell or weighted object back and forth. Keep in mind that you'll progress through the eyes open option faster than the eyes closed option. Ankle specific strength. You're gonna target your ankle everters and dorsiflexors by using a resistance band and your ankle plantar flexors and inverters by doing heel raises. Let's walk through the setup for ankle eversion on the left leg. Wrap a resistance band around the end of your left foot Bring it across the bottom of your right foot and hold it firmly with your right hand. Your left hand is going to ensure that you don't compensate by performing external rotation of the hip as opposed to E version of the ankle. Work up to three sets of 25 reps using the most challenging resistance band you can find. For ankle dorsiflexion, anchor the band and loop it around the middle of your foot. Pump your ankle up and down through its full range of motion. You can also use a weight attached to your foot. Work up to three sets of 25 and progress the resistance over time. For heel raises, progress from double leg on flat ground to single leg on flat ground to single leg on a step to single leg on a step with weight. When you get to the point that you can do single leg heel raises on a step with a weight in your hand, aim for three to four sets of six to 12 repetitions using a slow tempo and full range of motion. Progress by gradually using more weight over time. If you've been following me for any length of time, It'll come as no surprise that I'm including walking as an exercise recommendation. Research by Hershkovich, McCann, and Baldwin have reported associations between BMI, higher body mass, and increased waist circumference with chronic ankle instability. Harvard Turner and Turner in 2015 found that individuals with chronic ankle instability were less physically active, including taking 2,100 steps less per day than healthy controls. I want to be very clear. I'm not saying that being overweight or obese causes or even necessarily contributes to chronic ankle instability. Instead, chronic ankle instability likely leads to functional limitations and decreased physical activities, which can become a vicious cycle. But you can use something as simple as walking to create a virtuous cycle. For example, you can increase your physical activity levels by gradually walking more, which leads to less functional limitations which leads to more physical activity, and that positive recurring cycle continues. Chronic ankle instability can be debilitating and discouraging, but some level of physical activity is always better than none, regardless of how trivial it might seem. The exercises described are generally helpful for people with CAI, but responses will vary. Therefore, please understand that this video is providing guidelines, not hard and fast rules. The frequency, intensity, and volume of exercises in your program should be individualized based on your training history, symptoms, goals, etc. Some people may benefit from partially progressing one to two exercises, while others may benefit from fully progressing all of the exercises. This is also not an all-inclusive list due to time constraints and the infinite possibilities. Bracing. The authors of the systematic review by Doherty et al. in 2017 conclude that there is strong evidence for exercise therapy and bracing in preventing recurrence of an ankle sprain. In addition to reducing the risk of an ankle sprain, braces aid in reducing the severity of an injury. Lace-up ankle braces are preferred and are recommended for up to six months and up to one year following a lateral ankle sprain. Activity modifications. According to research by Swenson et al. in 2013, you are more likely to sustain a lateral ankle sprain during sports competition compared to practice, and a large proportion of those injuries are due to contact with another person. A different systematic review and meta-analysis by Doherty et al. in 2013 concluded that athletes competing in indoor and court sports are at the highest risk. 
Therefore, it might be helpful to temporarily modify the sports you play or reduce your total participation if you're struggling with chronic ankle instability. This is obviously much easier to do if you're performing these activities recreationally compared to a high school, college, or professional athlete or someone whose livelihood depends on it. Surgery. Based on the clinical guidelines for the surgical management of chronic lateral ankle instability by Song et al. in 2019, surgery is suggested when patients continue to have symptoms of CAI after three to six months of non-surgical treatment and have indications of CAI on physical and imaging examinations. Surgery is a viable choice in some cases, but I usually recommend that people exhaust their non-surgical options, such as exercise therapy, bracing, and appropriate activity modifications before considering it. If you're even remotely unsure, see a sports physical therapist near you. In summary, chronic ankle instability is associated with persistent problems at least 12 months after an initial lateral ankle sprain. Individuals often experience changes in strength, range of motion, motor control, and other factors, and the best way to address those changes is through a comprehensive rehab plan. Here's an example week based on the exercises I presented. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, start with a 5-10 to 10 minute warm-up of your choosing. You're aiming to break a light sweat. Then you'll perform three sets of 30 seconds of single leg lateral hopping or three sets of six repetitions of single leg jumping and landing. Next, you'll either perform a single leg RDL with a dumbbell in the opposite hand or a lateral step down for three to four sets of six to 12 repetitions. You'll move on to reaching with your feet or hands for three sets of 30 to 60 seconds. After working on dynamic balance, you'll work on static balance by standing on the foam pad with your eyes open or closed for up to three sets of 60 seconds. You may add a kettlebell swap to the eyes open option. You'll finish the workout by performing single leg heel raises on a step with a weight for three to four sets of six to 12 reps and ankle eversion and dorsiflexion for three sets of 25 repetitions each. On your off days, you can perform upper body movements, technical sport specific exercises, or cardiovascular conditioning. If you're looking for a high quality, evidence-based and step-by-step -step program for your ankle, check the link down below for our ankle resilience program or head to our website at e3rehab.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, leave any questions or comments down below, and don't forget to check out our program. Peace.